there's a big difference because we need to have in mind that in Ribera del Duero, uh, our uh, the, the the wineries and the vineyards are located between 800 and 900 meters, and if we compare it with Rioja, in Rioja we are talking about 350 up to 600 meters. So we we see that there's a big difference in terms of climate because we are more uh, influenced by Atlantic and continental uh, climate. So with some uh, harsh and hard winters, we can get a gap of uh, almost 50 degrees between summer and winter. We can get uh, minus, well, last year we got minus 15 degrees in, in, the, in our vineyards and in summer we got 45. So that's, that, that's some things that makes the, the Tempranillos totally different because it, when we talk about Rioja, it's more, well, let's, of course, let's talk about in general terms. It's more onto red fruits, uh, more acidity, uh, a little bit uh, more rounded. But if we go to Ribera del Duero, it goes more onto, onto black fruit, more ripe, more alcoholic, uh, more tannins, and, and much more structured. So, so more, let's say more meaty wines. So, so that, that's and, and less acidity, of course, because uh, in, in terms of acidity, Rioja, let's say it's the king in Spain. So, so that's two totally different Tempranillos. And we're talking about two hours by car difference. So from Rioja to Rivera, it's uh, two hours by car. And we see that, it's, uh, that there are two totally different breaks. So, so that's something that usually when we talk about Tempranillo, when we think about Verdejo, Tempranillo, uh, uh, Garnacha, we, we think about a stereotype or prototype that we have taste, but it's totally different. 